and welcome back to another escapist video and today I have to do a couple of distractions now I thought I had to do a distraction for morning roll call I had actually forgotten until uh, about five minutes ago so it's very convenient that I remember now uh, as I've been trying to remember other things personally uh, that slipped my mind until I was thinking about this game and then it dawned on me so well it's more than five minutes that I uh, remembered it but oh well I remembered and I did that distraction that's the most important thing I've been trying to play through uh, some of the games I haven't beaten here on Steam, so trying to, uh, well, not just, well, particularly ones that I haven't uh, recorded yet for a series, of course, that I haven't beaten yet. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to beat Fallout 3. And, uh, Doom 2016, aka Doom 4, and yesterday I restarted playing Mass Effect because I, I didn't even get, uh, I'd gotten to the point where the, uh, shoot. The, uh, I guess the main antagonist, turns out, in the story, uh, shoots your friend in the back. And talking to that person behind the- that was sleeping on their job, and survived the attack on the beacon because of that. I had gotten to that tough little encounter there, but I hadn't gotten any farther. And then, uh, on the new computer, like with several games, just like Far Cry and Max Payne 3, maybe I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, uh, even though it's the same external hard drive, it did, the save did not transfer over. But for that game, it's not a big deal because I hardly did anything. I bet I only completed about 1% of the game. But yeah. If you can divert the guard's attention, next evening meal for me, I can dish out, dish out some justice using this screwdriver. Yes! That sounds wonderful! Oh, you'll break me? Oh. Well, don't threaten me with a good time. And I mean that, personally, I would love for uh, a chiropractor to crack my back. Ooh, give me a good old crack. Crack me like a glow stick. Mmm. Oh, that sounds so relaxing. Just talking about it and thinking about it. Oh, man. But, as I was going to say, I, um, I am currently trying to get, uh, Far Cry and Max Payne 3 back to where they were on the old computer, uh, on the new computer so that I can resume them as a series on this channel. I will go into I will go in depth on this probably in a story time video. Uh, not this next one, but probably the one after that. The after I updated my old computer the last time I did it, 
my mic stopped working on that old computer, so... But the games are still playable, so... Uh... And the webcam, uh... Mike sounds like total crap. I would rather do it with my headset. <laughs> also, I can essentially beat the game twice, if you think about it, because I got pretty far in both series. And so when I try to get to that point again, I will get a lot of hours in that game again and get very far in that game once again. So, and I, and since I said, or like I said, the games are still very much playable on the old computer. So I can beat both of them twice. Once for YouTube and then once on the old computer. So... It'll be all good. Yeah, I went, in more, went more in depth into that than I thought I would, but there's still more that I can talk about. And the more I talk about it, the more, uh, the more my fans will, uh, recognize and, uh, realize what the weight for those two series are. It's not a huge deal, uh, it's definitely a priority. I spent, uh, like a half hour yesterday getting through the first chapter of Max Payne 3 again. I still have, like, 12 more to go, I believe, and, uh, Far Cry 3, or no, Far Cry 1, not Far Cry 3. I'll get to that in a minute. I don't want to say what was on my mind. I'll get sidetracked. So Far Cry 1, I got pretty far into that game too. I think I got about 80% of the way through. 75 or 80%. But Far Cry 3 is one of those games I'm trying to beat. Uh that I'm thinking about more than the escapist than I mentioned earlier like with Fallout 3 and Doom it seems Trevor's acts of friendship lately were just a cover to get his hands on my worms game fancy getting it back for me no okay I do need to cause a distraction was I I think I was supposed to cause a distraction then dead gamut well, that person's not too happy, I can imagine. Oh well, I'm not gonna miss out on this one. Trigger! 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 The distraction! Trigger! There we go! Thank God! Why did I have to be outside of the shower block for that to even trigger? That, that, that doesn't even make any sense to me. But, oh well. I need to make a list of those games that I haven't beaten that I'm trying to beat. And then, I've thought about, uh, making it such that on, let's say, Monday, I play game A or B, and on Tuesday, I play game C or D, so that I can uh, play them more consistently, or 
consistently and beat them. Because sometimes I will go through a stretch over a week where I'll play a lot of game X. And then the next week I might play a lot of game Y. And I'll probably forget about game X and not play it for a while. So that's why I would probably do that. Uh, I need to do that. Because, well, I also want to beat all the Halo games. Now, I mentioned Halo is a series that I eventually want to play for this channel. Computer audio? There we go. So, Halo is a series I mentioned I eventually want to play for this channel. Now, I actually have not beaten any of the Halo games. I am in the process of playing through Combat Evolved and 2. Uh, I, a couple weeks ago, was going through a stretch where I was playing both of those games uh, quite a bit. But I have since put them down, and I have not played them in the last couple weeks. That being after I put Halo down in general and didn't play it for, um, I don't know, three or four months. So, <sighs> theoretically, I should have been able to beat one or two Halo games by now, but I haven't yet. And I think that's part of uh, the fact that I've realized that I have so many different games that I can play. So, at that point, I don't want to play any games. It's like I heard this in a podcast uh, a week or two ago while I was mowing the grass. I will typically listen to podcasts and do that. But, uh, heaven and having the choice to do anything you would want would not be the best thing because you would be so content with having everything that you wouldn't want to do anything at that point. And I'm like, hmm... Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense when my games, because part of the time is I, sometimes I either, well, a lot of the time, if I have the time and the energy, uh, it's ironic I say energy when I say video games. I get that. Uh, what I mean is... Whenever I'm not worn out doing stuff throughout the day, like mowing the grass or uh, playing golf or mentally worn out from school, uh, doing an assignment, studying, um, or looking stuff up, getting curious maybe about uh, different languages, uh, different coding languages, I mean, like Python or uh, C++. Stuff like that. So, uh, when I have a lot of games that I can play, or I'm like, oh, I have a lot of time to play a game, so I'm going to put this off. Yeah, that's not good. It it hurts me. That's, that's how I don't finish a lot of these games. And how I don't have more playtime in, uh multiplayer games as well much less uh, single player games and so that's why I say I would need to set up a kind of a schedule uh, for myself it it wouldn't be mandatory for myself 
because I wouldn't want to force myself to uh, play games that I wouldn't want to. But it would be more like, okay, uh, since in school, uh, you've been going over uh, Security Plus and policies and guidelines. It would be more like a guideline than a policy. A policy would be like YouTube saying that you absolutely cannot curse in any video. But a guideline would be like, well, if you didn't curse, then you your videos could get more traffic. Like, it's not a requirement. And that's not what they're going to do. I'm just throwing that out there as an example. So, I would make something like that for myself as a guideline. Uh, as opposed to a policy. Like, hey, if I'm unsure about what to play on this day, then I'd be like, okay, let me refer to my list and see what I probably should play today. And I would maybe have a choice between game A or game B. And so that would help myself out. At this point, I have forgotten how I have uh, started to talk about this. Ooh, bottom sleeping pills! Oh, yes! Yes! Definitely take that. Definitely. Uh, uh, oh god. Oh no. Steve? Steve? Oh god, Steve walked right past me. Steve, come on. Oh no, Steve! Uh, I want to give this to Steve so badly. Steve, Steve, Steve. Uh, where are you? Oh gosh darn it! Oh no. I'm gonna have to find Steve during free time. It seems like they don't hate me anymore. Well, for now, anyway. Steve! Thank God! Just the man I want to see. No, don't, don't you walk away from me! Oh, thank God. I need a tub of leech. Can you hook me up with one? Yes, absolutely. And by the way, with that whole, uh... Uh, guideline thing is that I've thought about it a little bit well beyond what I've talked about and I also think that I could have a day where it's just open to my interpretation like I could beat a game that or replay a game that I've already beaten like say Bioshock 1 or uh Max Payne one that I am currently playing again. I'm on the lookout for a cup. Can you get could you get me one? Yes. Oh god. Officer Steptoe is still trying to beat me up. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, I remember how I got to talking about it. Yeah, I was talking about how I've been thinking about games that I haven't beaten before or trying to beat games I haven't beaten before. Uh, aside from thinking about this game and the fact that I had a morning roll call to start the video.
actually forgot a distraction last exercise period because of it. As a matter of fact. So. Eh. Oh, by the way, the other day I was able to get Surviving Mars for free. Uh, I got an email that Steam sends me emails about games that I have in my wish list to go on sale. Um, I saw where I was checking my email during school. Uh, uh, I inst uh, today is Friday, so yeah, Wednesday. So Wednesday, I checked my email and I saw that Steam sent me an email that Surviving Mars is on sale. And I always click on the games that are on sale that they send me e emails for. Just just in case I see a really good deal that I like. You know, I might... I, I'm going to pounce on a really good deal that I like. Well, the Surviving Mars deal... Eh, it couldn't get any better. And it was free. Boss Buster's plotting something. I can smell it. Go knock him down and remind him who's in charge. No. So, I had the time to check my email in school. After I'd gotten to the building and in the classroom, I had settled down. And... Before class started, I like to get to class uh, about 15, 20 minutes before school starts, just, just because getting there early is better than getting there late. So I realized that I would have to get on my phone during a break whenever my teacher was not lecturing or when we weren't doing a lab on the computers to get uh, Surviving Mars. And thankfully I was able to get it for free before the special offer expired. I believe it only ran for 24 hours, but I'm not sure. I am honestly not sure. That was a lucky break. I thought one of those were Samuel. And I was walking out of the cell just to see if it was. But yeah, I got Surviving Mars for free the other day. My worms game, my worms games done a vanishing act, and I suspect Trevor's to blame. I like it back. No. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I was able to get Surviving Mars for free, and I checked uh, right after I got off of school. And the game was not on, well, it, it still is on sale up to, uh, the, through Monday. Well, at some point to Monday for 75% off. But regardless, it, the special offer for it being free was, was no more, so... I don't know, that might be a game I eventually play for the channel, this channel. I just have to see how it goes, honestly. See if I like it. And if I do, then you guys could see it on the channel one day. But yeah, enough about that. CS guys, I do believe that that will do it for this escapist video and next escapist video. I will see you later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.